This is interesting. Um, I had the Facebook uh, all set up, and then when I went live, it changed the view. So weird. Um, so how are you guys doing today? It's Wednesday. It is a cold day in Colorado. It is snowy today. Um, it didn't start out snowy, but it has gone to be snowy. Okay. And um, I tell you what, I love setting these things up. I try and get them set up. I try and get everything just right. Have everything in frame that I want to have in frame. And then when it goes live, it like changes the aperture, changes the, you know, whatever. It's like got more of the sink and less of this. I don't know. I can never get it right. So you'll just have to bear with me. Um, and then I don't edit my videos. So uh, maybe I should edit my videos, but I don't. So, all right. So how are you guys doing? So <clears throat> my name is Jennifer Soto. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today. Um, we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving. So quick show of hands um go ahead and put it in the comments do you are you hosting thanksgiving this year or are you attending somewhere and if you're attending thanksgiving somewhere are you bringing something so the recipe that i'm going to show you today and some of the tips and ideas that i'm going to show you today will help you in just two weeks when you host or attend thanksgiving we're gonna make a really simple recipe. How many of you guys have one of these? This is a microwave. Um, maybe it's on the counter, maybe it's in the pantry. Mine happens to be right above the stove. But how many of you guys have a microwave? So a microwave is a great way to save time at the holidays or when you have to make a lot of food. So some things that I make in my microwave, green bean casserole. I cook, I mean, the green bean casserole, let's face it, it's pretty much cooked, you're just heating it up. Um, I will heat it up in my microwave and then finish it in the oven, okay? So that's gonna save space in my oven. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make mashed potatoes and it's going to be very, very quick, very, very fast. We're gonna use our deep covered baker. This recipe, which on the Facebook page is linked, I think it's linked in the YouTube as well, but this recipe, which now I'm looking at the YouTube, it's like fuzzy and hazy. I guess I forgot to wipe off the camera. Um, so let's do that real quick. <laughs> you know, there's nothing like a little fuzzy, hazy shot. You're like, it's kind of ethereal. That's much better. Um, but anyway, so um, this recipe that's linked in the description or in the first comment on Facebook ha is um, actually uses our um, three cup, the, or not the three cup, but the, the large micro cooker. So the micro cooker comes in a set of three. Um, maybe you used to have a micro cooker that had like a long handle, um, but this is the one quart, two quart, and the three quart micro cooker. These are very, very handy to have for heating leftovers. The lids all stacked together, that's nice. And stores in your cabinet all nested. These are really handy to have. Highly recommend. You can use them for steaming vegetables, cooking rice. You can make a cake in them. You can cook your mashed potatoes in them. But I'm not gonna use these today. They're kind of standard. Everybody needs to have these, especially kids that are going off to college. Now, you can buy the one quart and the two quart separately, but the three quart only come in the set, okay? So, all right. So that's perfect for cooking in the microwave. Perfect for cooking in the microwave, for making things, for heating things up or whatever, steaming. I love the lids have um, steam holes on them. I don't know if you can see that, but also drain holes. So when you pour out the water. Um, all when my kids were little, I used to steam the veggies and that's how I steamed them was in the micro cooker. My husband's favorite product for so long was the one quart micro cooker. I was like, please pick a different product that is a little more expensive because he would sell a ton of them. So, but today we're gonna use the deep covered baker. So before I tell you about all the tools that you need to prep your Thanksgiving, the last day to order to get your stuff for your Thanksgiving meal is going to have it by the, like they think the 22nd, is going to be November 14th. So that is the last day to order. If you click on the link that has the recipe, you can order directly from there. Or if you'd like to help a host, ask me and I will send you a host's party link. Um, or if uh, you know you can go to my link tree and find a link there, whatever, whoever's name suits you, you can do that. Um, but uh, let's talk a little bit about the deep covered baker. And this deep covered baker is kind of a workhorse in your kitchen. It goes in the oven 
oven, it goes in the microwave, um, it goes in the dishwasher for easy cleaning, and we all know after Thanksgiving that's really great. So what kind of things can you do in this baker? So back in the day when the deep cover baker first came out, um, we used to make chicken fajitas all the time. Yes, we would cook the chicken in the microwave. Could totally still do that. It's a great recipe. We also would make like pasta. This is where I learned to make pasta in the microwave. Um, put your pasta in here, cover it with water. It is a great way to make pasta in the microwave. Um, it just doesn't take any time at all. Oh my gosh, it's so great. You can, um, one of the recipes, the great recipes is the spring pasta in the deep covered baker. You can actually go to the website, type in um, baker or deep covered baker and get a list of recipes that go with the baker. If you already have a baker and you want like a recipe book, I can send you a recipe book. All you have to do is send me a text message um, or send me a message to my account or comment um, that you want that book and I will um, text it to you. I'll send you the link for that. So deep covered baker, also really good for making like bread, like sourdough bread or like our beer bread or the focaccia bread or the Italian herb bread. Um, any of those breads that we have are really good to make in here. Or if you were like to have a sourdough starter and you want to make your sourdough bread, perfect to do it in here. We just get that clay baker. Um, Gosh, I used to do another thing I used to do at my home parties. I used to do five dips in five minutes. Love to do those parties. And we would make fresh bread in there. I would um, bring it already risen and then we would cook it and then take, I would take home the starter that we made. But oh my gosh, so easy to make fresh bread. Um, I've done it actually, at the beginning of the pandemic. I made some for you guys. You can, that video is actually on my Facebook page, but uh but such a great thing. So the deep cover baker is really nice. So um, not glazed on the bottom, not glazed on the inside. Uh, perfect for all your things that you want to cook in the microwave or in the oven. You could also make casseroles, lasagnas, um, all kinds of things in here. Um, quinoa bowl, Mexican quinoa bowl, super yummy. Just go to the website and look that up. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is peel our potatoes. So I'm using the veggie peeler. I love the veggie peeler because you can peel both ways if you want to. This works really great on carrots, not as great on potatoes. Um, so I usually just peel backwards for potatoes, okay? But if you're the kind of person that likes to peel them forward, it's real easy to peel forward also. You can get those potatoes, get that skin off the potatoes. Now, normally I actually don't take the skin off the potatoes. So these are gonna be kinda, uh, you know, I'll get the, part of the skin off and some of the skin will stay on. Um, but I typically don't take the skin off the potatoes. It has a lot of nutrients in there, so that's why I don't do it. Also, this takes time. I prefer not to do this. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and peel this potato. This is the veggie peeler. You can peel frontwards and backwards. We have this other peeler. We have a peeler set. It's actually a set. This is the regular peeler from the set. It's actually probably better for peeling potatoes. <laughs> yeah, a little better for peeling potatoes. Just because the way the potatoes are. I love this for peeling carrots. <laughs> and peel them right off, okay? So, you can make ribbons of your zucchini with this. Um, this, com this peeler comes in a set of three. And it has a julienne peeler and it has a serrated peeler, and a serrated peeler is really good for things like mangoes, or peaches, or tomatoes, things with like a really thick skin, so. I got a little part that I need to cut out here. Get my knife and kind of just cut that out. I did do the Boy Scout way, I kind of cut towards myself. If you are a Boy Scout parent, you're probably like, oh my gosh, take away her chit. <laughs> That's C-H-I-T. All right, so we'll put those down. We're gonna put, we're gonna scoot these over into the little trash right here. Then I can put them in the compost, super easy. All of this is dishwasher safe. Um, I need a bigger knife. We're gonna cut these in half. I love my tools, love my tools. We're gonna go ahead and just use the wedger to wedge this. We want these to be in chunks. 
and I forgot to look up how long I need to microwave this for. I think it's only like five minutes. But while we're doing that, I'll tell you about some other things for Thanksgiving, some other tools you could use. This is the veggie uh, wedger. Goes in the dishwasher. Okay, so we've got our potato chunks in here and we're just gonna cover with water, okay? Cover with water. I'm gonna add some salt as well. Okay, so we just want these to be covered with water. They don't need to be, you don't need to have a lot of water in there, we just wanna cover them. And I'm gonna add a little salt in there as well. I want sea salt. You guys get to see my messy cabinets behind me. Actually, they're not very messy. I feel like we've been in this house three years and it's time for me to like organize stuff again. You know, what do I not use? What do I need to get rid of? What's outdated? <laughs> so, all right, so I've got my um, stuff in there. I'm gonna cover this and we're gonna stick it in here for five minutes. All right, Get out. Put it up here. Five minutes. Okay, we're gonna let that cook for five minutes. So while that's cooking, I wanna talk about some of the other tools that you might need for Christmas. All right, I did not get them all out. Um, I probably should have gotten them all out, but I didn't get them all out. So here are some of the things that you might need. So we'll start with some of the things that I did get out. Garlic for us. Like you need to have garlic in your mashed potatoes, <laughs> in your, I mean, maybe you put it on your um, turkey or in your side dishes, but garlic press is gonna be a big one if you don't already have the garlic press. I bet you guys have the garlic press. I bet most of you guys that are watching already have the garlic press. Anyway, you don't have to peel the garlic, you just drop it in here, press, garlic comes out. This is a seasonal item. This only pops up on our website just seasonally. I saw it on there the other day, basting brush. I love this basting brush because it has the uh, cleaning tool that stores right inside of here, but also this baster and brush has like a level side so it doesn't roll off. Um, but this is nice. Everything is dishwasher safe. So I hope that's still on the website. <laughs> I saw it the other day, so I wanted to tell you about that. So the tools we're going to use today, we're using a measuring cup. Um, we're going to use the scraper to mix it, and we're going to use the mix and masher to mash it. Um, we're going to, uh, you can also use the rose, I'm going to put a little bit of the rosemary herb in there just to give it a little bit of flavor um, as well. And then other seasonal items that you want, you definitely want to have some cinnamon and cinnamon plus for your baking, okay? So those are just the things I have right here. So if you don't have a turkey roaster, you're gonna roast that turkey, you wanna have a turkey roaster. Our enameled, 11 by 14 enameled turkey roaster is actually on sale right now. So we actually have a whole bunch of things that are on sale just for, just, just for till the 15th, I think, um, so that you can get those things for Thanksgiving. So like our Flex Plus, it's normally $229. It's on sale for $199 actually had a host add it to her order and it cost $79 to get that Flex Plus this month when you host. So if you would like to get something like that in your kitchen, let's do a party. We can start a party, we can run over the weekend, we can wrap it up by the 14th so that you can get that Flex Plus in your kitchen, okay? The 14th is next Tuesday, all right? So um, you definitely wanna take advantage of that. Also, um, some other things that you might need for Thanksgiving holidays is, I don't know, do you need an apron? <laughs> Did you know that our kits, as long as you buy a product, as long as you buy a product kit, it actually comes with an apron. So I don't know if you need an apron. You can get a business to go with it. That's kind of fun. Um, but you know, other things that you need. So the side dishes. The side dishes, um, using the deep covered baker, using the mini deep covered baker, using the square baker. These are great side dishes. They fit, you can fit a couple of them in your oven. They, um, if you bake them and then maybe you need to warm them up just to serve, you can throw them in the microwave. Um, you can actually store in them. They all have the option, the, like the square baker, you can get the lid to go with it. Um, or you can get it without the lid, up to you. Um, our rock crocks are other things that are really good to um, help with. And of course, our 
our cookware. Like cookware, if you don't have good cookware, you need some. You need something to make the gravy with. You need something to um, to make things go a lot easier. But the other thing that I would tell you, and this is the thing that I use that makes my Thanksgiving so easy to prep is my deluxe multi cooker. So the deluxe multi cooker is over here. I don't think you can see it, um, but it is a pressure cooker. And so what I use it for, and I, I thought about using this for this today, but I decided to teach you the microwave recipe. Um, I think last year I did um, mashed potatoes in the in the in the multi cooker, but that is my workhorse the day before Thanksgiving when I'm doing a lot of prep or Christmas and I'm doing a lot of prep work for like potatoes and veggies and things like that. So what I will do is cut up my potatoes and put them in there with one cup of water. You only need one cup of water. And then I will set it on potatoes, which takes about four minutes, um, four to six minutes, depending on how mushy you want them. And then I set it to go. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes you know, to come to pressure and then to cook them and then be done. And then when they come out, they're ready to mash. Okay, if I'm gonna put water on the stove to boil, it's gonna take 20 minutes to boil. Okay, and so that is something I can do, press the button, walk away, do something else, okay? And then also for sweet potatoes, I do the same thing. It takes a little bit longer for sweet potatoes, but when I do my casseroles, I was just on the phone with my mom today, and we were talking about Thanksgiving. She's like, what sides are you gonna bring? And I was like, I don't know, I haven't really thought about it. And she said, Angie said, Angie's my sister, she said, Angie said you make a really good um, sweet potato casserole. And I was like, well, I can do that. I'll, be, I'll let you guys in a little secret. Um, my sweet potato casserole and mashed potato casserole, pioneer woman. <laughs> so, so good. You cannot beat it. So good. And then I alter them. I make them. So this is the, this is the cutting board from the prep and store set. And so I'm just putting a, um, something down there because I don't want to melt it. I don't know why I got these little lobster claws. This thing is above my head. I need to put my full on silicone oven mitts on to pull this guy out. We're gonna pull it out and check. Check this. See if these are ready. Oh yeah, they're not ready. So one thing I've learned up here is that in Colorado, things take a little bit longer, and I didn't read the recipe, so it's possibly it's possible that they needed to go in for a little longer. So we'll put them in for a little longer. Put them in for another five minutes. All right. So the recipe that I use, I use. And I we have a lot of allergies in our family: dairy, gluten, things like nuts, crazy stuff. So when I make these recipes, I alter them. And I wanted to show you my favorite products for altering recipes. So if you have family members at your house that are coming and you're like, oh, this one doesn't use dairy, oh, this one doesn't use soy, oh, this one doesn't use gluten, you can completely modify most recipes. The hardest one for me is onions because my husband's allergic to onions. So he cannot have green bean casserole because I will not make it without French fried onions. <laughs> so he just can't have it. And also it has soup, which has, um, uh, you know, I can buy the dairy, the gluten-free soup, but the, when you're buying soup, it's hard to find dairy-free pre-made soup without making it yourself. So he just doesn't get green bean casserole, but things like mashed potatoes and things like um, the sweet potato casserole, I can totally make those to suit him. Also, um, the, our rosemary seasoning is onion-free, so this goes all over the turkey. So when I make my turkey, I baste it with oil, I rub some garlic on it, I cut a lemon in half and, and squeeze it and then stick it in the cavity, and then I put this all over it. And I use a bag, I use one of those little bags from Reynolds, and, uh, and that's how I cook my turkey, and it turns out great. I use it in my roasting pan, it's perfect, a little heavy, um, so I have to put it in the bottom oven <laughs> when I make a turkey. But let's talk about alternate ingredients. So, this is my favorite oat milk to buy, okay? Um, it's, the caloric in count is a little bit higher, but it's kind of like whole milk, but I use this as a sub for cream, like when I have to use half and half, not for whipping, but when I have to put it in mashed potatoes or anything like that. This is the barista blend of the oat milk. Khalifa Farms is my favorite brand. And I also use this for cereal. Like I will pour this in my Cheerios in the morning or if I'm eating cereal, it actually tastes great to just drink 
great. So it's dairy free, gluten free. Um, you find it in the this brand. You find in the refrigerated section. You can also get oat milk in the non refrigerated section. But this Barista blend, this is my favorite. I love using this because you get a really creamy, thick texture when you're doing things like mashed potatoes. Okay, so this one is my favorite. Um, this is my favorite fake butter. <laughs> non-butter this is like a, I can't this butter melts and doesn't separate a lot of fake butters they melt and then they like separate this one does not separate this one actually tastes like butter it doesn't have any soy in it it doesn't have any cashews in it it doesn't have any weird ingredients that my husband is allergic to this is our favorite also the yellow um, the yellow one which is the vegan one um, I think, I don't know, the yellow one. Yeah, the yellow one, which I can't remember which one it is. Um, but this is non-GMO, it's vegan, it's no soy, no um, no nuts or anything like that in it. And it's great, it, splends right, it's, it spreads right on things, it melts really wonderful. Um, I also will get, I've gotten the yellow one, which I think it might be olive oil, um, butter spread. I've gotten that one before when this one was out and it works great. Um, the thing about butter is that uh, you really, butter is, it's a great flavor add, um, and so you need it for a lot of things. And so I actually made noodles last night. I made a, I made a wonderful recipe last night. I found on the internet, just Googling. I was feeling uninspired. Do you guys ever feel uninspired? I was feeling uninspired. And so I was looking for, I, I just looked at Mediterranean chicken, and I made this thing in the pan in the cast iron skillet with tomatoes and capers and olives and and asparagus because I didn't have spinach so I subbed out asparagus I know that doesn't make sense that's what I did it was so delicious and then we served with buttered noodles on the side and I used this as if I was gonna use regular noodles and it was so delicious and so and I've used it in recipes that we bake with so if you have a recipe that calls for um, noodle for it calls for butter I've used this instead and it works out great so this one's my favorite. These are my two favorite non-dairy butter and Thanksgiving lifesavers, non-dairy. So wonderful. Now, my sister is allergic to eggs. How bizarre is that? So um, I will use just egg for her um, if, if Eric's not gonna eat it, because I think it has mustard in it. So he's allergic to mustard too. So, um, but, uh, and we haven't tested mustard very much. So we've tested a lot of other things. Um, Eric is allergic to potatoes, but they don't seem to bother him uh, now that he's gotten some of his other stuff under control, so we're eating potatoes again. But definitely dairy is a no-go. Gluten is a eh, so try not to do gluten because um, that causes a lot of discomfort. So. But anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Okay, I think this should be ready. Always wanting to touch that. Okay, let's check this. Yeah, these these are, probably could use a little bit more, but we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and go with it. <laughs> okay, um, I don't want to make you guys wait too much longer. I think when I've done this in the past, I actually haven't put water in here, but the recipe calls for water, and I'm being a rule follower today, sort of. Okay. Yep, all that water is out of there. Then we're going to just mash these up with the masher. And I'm just going to mash. They probably could stand to be a little bit softer. I'm going to stick them back in the microwave in just a minute once I get some stuff mixed in here. I'm just going to mash these up. Actually, to break these up, I think I'm actually going to use this guy and break these up. I probably didn't cut these small enough is the reason it didn't take, uh, they're not completely cooked. Probably could have cut these pieces in half. That's okay. We're going to break them smaller and then I can mash them. Now this recipe just calls for the butter. To the butter, or it just calls for the um, some butter and the milk to add in here. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to add some other stuff in here as well. Okay, 
So we've got these mashed up a little bit. I'm gonna have to mash them a little bit more when we get done. We are going to squeeze some garlic in here because I kind of don't feel like you can have um, mashed potatoes without garlic. Since I just did two potatoes, I'm gonna drop two small cloves of garlic down in here. And then I'm gonna press, take my little cleaning tool, scrape off the bottom, and then scrape out the garlic. All right, dishwasher safe. Then I'm gonna add some of the rosemary, just a little bit, probably about a teaspoon. Okay, again, I don't have a whole lot of the, um, I only have two potatoes in there, not a whole lot of potatoes. Okay, and I just use the cup of my hand. Like when you cup your hand up like this, there's just about a te teaspoon. We need, oh my, I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to cheat you guys and see. Quarter cup of milk and salt and pepper. <laughs> okay, I almost put a half a cup of milk in here, but we just want a quarter cup of milk. Put this in here. This doesn't call for butter, but I'm gonna put a little butter in here. whole lot and then salt and pepper so we'll just put some fresh salt and pepper in here if I ever showed you guys this like this is my favorite thing about these when you fill them you fill them in the top it's like a big hole so easy to fill them salt and pepper grinder this hold is a set pretty and useful. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and give this a mix. We're gonna stick this back in the microwave just for a few minutes, kind of get this warmed up, cook that garlic that I added in there, and then we'll give it a good mash, and it'll be good to go. Okay, add that lid one more time. We'll put it in here. Ooh, it's a little warm. Somehow I managed to get this off filter. Look at how much taller this is than me, you guys. <laughs> okay. Two. Okay, let me give you another tip about the microwave. If you are going to bake your potatoes, so you're gonna have baked potatoes, for, I don't know, for dinner or for Thanksgiving, Cook your potatoes, take your big, huge potatoes, full, full size, and poke some holes in them and stick them in the microwave five minutes, okay? Um, I'll, whenever I had a family of five, I stuck my, my five potatoes in there in the microwave five minutes and then for like 15 minutes in the oven um, or in the air fryer, that's really easy, to get that outside nice and crispy, but then they don't have to bake for a whole hour. So you can also cook your potatoes on the grill. So um, again, I would take my potatoes and cook them in the microwave and then put them, bring them out with the food. I mean, the chicken only takes like um, six minutes each side to cook. So put your potatoes out there at the same time. You can baste them with some oil so they get that nice crispy skin and cook them at the same time on the grill. Lots of different things you can do. Um, save yourself some time. Use that microwave. It's a great way to save yourself some time in the kitchen. All right, so when this is done, we're gonna wrap, we've got 49 seconds. <laughs> we got 49 seconds. So if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. We do have a really great sale. I will go back and add the link for the sale. I have no idea what I did with the lid for this. Oh, it's on here. <laughs> um, when I will go back in and add the link for the um, November sale and um, so that you can see. We just have some things that are on sale, um, $99, like our, and we have some things that are on sale for $199, and we've got some special sets, and they're only available for a short time. So don't forget, you wanna make sure that you order anything that you want for Thanksgiving, whether you're gonna give it as a gift, 
or whether you're going to um, get it for yourself. You want to order by the 14th to make sure you get it by Thanksgiving. So if you are exchanging gifts at Thanksgiving or passing off gifts so that they could put under their tree, then you want to make sure you have that by then. So, and um, tis the season to do parties. If you're in Colorado Springs, I would love to do a party at your house. I'd love to do a five appetizers in five minutes part and 15 minutes party. I would love to treat you to, uh, to some new recipes and ideas, help you get the juices flowing um, for a fun party. Or if you just want to do something completely out of season, let's do nachos and margaritas because <laughs> that's fun too. All right, so this is, um, I think I cheated myself and I didn't do the timing right. Um, this is mashing a little slower than I would like, but we're gonna mash it together and make it work. So, okay, we're getting this mashed, oh, it smells so good. Um, I get really impatient at these things. I think that I would probably by now have grabbed my Flex Plus and pulled this out if I was doing this at home and use or thrown this in my mixer to mix, to mix together because I don't have the patience to hand mix anything ever. So you're getting to see my impatience right here. Breaking this up with the mix and chop and then I will mash it together with the masher. Things up here take a little bit longer to do. So, there we go. Now we're cooking. Getting this mashed together. This is a great job to hand off to one of the kids teenagers, spouse, anybody who's standing around with a drink in their hand, this is a good thing to hand off to them. Or if you want to keep them around, keep them from going downstairs or back in their room to play video games, this is a great thing to do to keep them around. Let's have a little taste. Mmm, definitely good. Not cooked enough. I definitely think I need to put it back in a few more minutes. Um, so I'll do that, let you guys go. It's 4.30, so time to let you guys go. But go ahead and um, make this at home. Follow the instructions that I put on there. Um, it's gonna come out perfect for you guys. Man, the flavor is good, okay? So super easy, super fast, 15 minutes to do your um, potatoes. If you're not talking about things and you're not <laughs> standing around, you can actually have your stuff cleaned up by the time you're done. All right, guys, have a great day and I will see you soon. Make sure that you share this video if you liked it and follow because next week we're gonna talk about something else.